Hi guys, 14th Brain here, back with another video review. And today we're looking at the Transformers Robots in Disguise Bludgeon. Now, I know what you guys are kind of thinking. You usually do custom reviews, what the heck is this? <laughs> um, it's actually a bit more of an obscure Shadow Glass character, or at least Shadow Glass reuse, because he wasn't really in any of, the, any of the official art, and I guess unless you read the stories for his one scene, you won't really know it. But this is actually what was used for Shadow Glass Bludgeon. Which, as you can already see, I have put Shadow Glass labels where his Decepticon symbols were. And I figured, as a little bit of a break, I can do a little quick video review. And also because there's only one other video on this guy, and it's like 8 years old. <laughs> There's probably a reason for that, though. But anyways, let's look at them proper. You can see some nice chrome right there. Like, these wheels don't work, obviously, but they look really nice. You get the back. Now, a few issues with this tank, but one you can already see. This doesn't really... The arms don't really lock in. Like, they, they stay there, but there's nothing, like, clipping them in. They just kind of sit there and can wobble around if they want has one of these little push things what you do is you take one of the two included rockets stick it in and you just push it actually I've gotten this thing to go a bit far I didn't think it could it also has a gun this is an alright little gun I can actually store right here and then you can open up these two flaps on the back take his missiles and plop them in and now you have him just he's just here <laughs> I don't know what to make of this yeah that's pretty much it for tank mode so let's get this guy transformed now since this is a older figure, transformation is pretty easy, since it's, if I remember correctly, this is like a repaint of G2 Megatron's original toy, I don't know. Anyways, you flip the arms down, you know, take this and move it, here's what I do is I just like tuck it under the chest for a minute, so that you can untap his legs, unfold them, then just grab this, Oop. Put it back. I'm gonna take all that. Let me just raise up the camera a bit. I'm gonna take his arms, fold them down around the elbow, come over here, take all this, push it to the side. I wanna come to this, this little gap there and get your fingernail under. Flip it up, tap it in. Here is Bludgeon in his robot's mood, and I do actually like how this looks. Like it's it's a fairly decent looking figure. It's it's got its issues, but I mean, especially for the time, it's not too terribly bad. Go ahead and run down articulation real quick. The head actually rotates. The arms can go up on this joint, or they can go up two clicks here. Kind of stiff. Elbow bend, elbow swivel. There's even a waist swivel, like, geez. Legs can move forward that far, you can move back that far, knee bend due to transformation. Yeah, those Billy on this guy isn't too terribly bad, but he do have some issues. <laughs> do have some issues. One big cannon back here. Uh, it makes him really back heavy, and since this doesn't snap into place. He has the habit of just kind of falling back. Also, his lack of heels at all in the backs of the feet. You can still take him and take the gun, plug into his hands. You can still take these rockets and put them here. But that looks terrible. <laughs> this does still work. You can still put a missile in there and then you can take this off and fire it and I mean overall he's not much 
He's fun for what he is, and I was actually surprised by what all he could kind of do. If I can get him to stand, I can, I can sometimes get him to dynamically pose. Come on. There you go. But yeah, overall, I do like him. And if you can find this guy for about 20 bucks, I recommend him. And again, it's a shadow glass figure, so go for it. But yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. So, please be sure to check out my channel for more video and custom reviews. And please don't forget to subscribe. Also, check out my Facebook and Tumblr. Links in the description below. And this is the 14th Prime, signing out.